Known for his jumps and his speed, Jesse Owens was great indeed. From the start, he had to work hard for his fame. In 1913, he was born son of a sharecropper and grandson of a slave. He was constantly sick when he was young, but into the cotton fields he was flung. He moved from Alabama to Ohio at the age of nine, and it was there that he started to shine. Later, he was setting high school records left and right. His track and field talents were coming to light. In college, he ran for Ohio State University, but because of his race, he faced much adversity. It was here that he perfected his dashes and long jump, and the Big Ten championships he triumphed. From a previous injury, his back was sore, but he managed to tie a world record and set three more. Meanwhile, he had to work a ton of jobs, and he still managed to beat the odds. He married Minnie Ruth Solomon in 1935. With her, he brought his three daughters to life. Fast forward to 1936, Owens is in the Berlin Olympics. Yeah, now he's climbing levels. Here he won four Olympic gold medals. Owens won his sprints and jumps with grace. He showed up Hitler in his master race. He proved to the states that it doesn't matter your race. You can still win with any color skin. He is now known commonly as a fighter for equality. But when he returned, he didn't get the treatment he deserved. He wasn't invited to shake the president's hand. He had to live through segregation that he had to withstand. Later in life, he gave many motivational speeches and gave support to young athletes that need it. Time for a fun fact real quick about how his name was picked. His real name was James Cleveland Owens called J.C., but was misheard by a teacher in Ohio as Jesse. Sadly, he passed away at age 66, pretty young. A life of smoking had given him cancer in his lungs. Jesse Owens will be remembered as a great runner who rose up for justice like no other.